If you're concerned about the safety of your finches during firework season, today I'm going to give you some great tips on keeping them safe and helping to reduce the stress. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where I help you with finch info tips and tricks. Firework season is just around the corner and here in the UK, Bonfire Night will be celebrated on and around the 5th of November. It's always a worrying time of the year for the safety and well-being of our wildlife and for our pets too. So today we're going to look at ways we can help to reduce the stress that our finches will go through and keep them safe during the loud bangs, bright flashes and toxic fumes that fireworks bring along with them. Before we dive into the tips and advice part of today's video, let's just take a quick look at this statement about fireworks from the RSPB. They say, There is little evidence to suggest that fireworks harm wild birds or affect their conservation status. Available information suggests that the effect of firework displays on birds is little different from that of a thunderstorm. Wild birds and aviary dwelling birds are completely aware of even the tiniest of environmental changes. They can sense changes in wind speed, wind direction, barometric pressure, humidity and temperature. They know full well when a storm is approaching and they prepare for it by hunkering down and hiding in protective surroundings. But they can't sense when you're about to set off loud flashing fireworks, so in my opinion, comparing fireworks to a natural phenomenon like thunderstorms is misleading the public into thinking birds should be used to loud bangs and bright flashes alike. This is why we need to take precautionary measures to ensure our finches and other pet birds are safe throughout the times when fireworks are being used close by. So, in no particular order, let's look at a few ways on how we can do that. Plan ahead. Unless your finches have literally just been added to the cage or the flight, they'll be able to navigate the surroundings even at high speed. However, if they get spooked, they also become disorientated. So temporarily removing some perches is a good way to reduce the risk of injury. You can also try offering a chop with a mix of foods high in vitamin B1, which is often termed as the stress reliever vitamin. Not really sure why, because it's not a stress reliever, but what it is fantastic for is building a strong immune system. Try this recipe. Vitamin B1 gets lost during cooking, so steam, microwave or feed raw. The science of a good diet for our finches is a bit of a minefield, with amino acids causing a lot of confusion. The amino acid L-theanine is known as a potent stress reliever, and there are bird calming products out there that contain this ingredient. But, although it's great at lowering the stress hormone cortisol, it also helps in fat storage for both animals and humans. Other than tea leaves and some mushroom types, it's extremely rare to find in nature, so I'd be wary of cheap products that claim to contain it in its natural form. A great product I can personally vouch for is Dr. Rob Marshall's Quick Gel. It's predominantly used in helping to recover from stress and illness, and any new birds that I get always receive this in their first five days of quarantine to aid in the settling in and reducing stress levels. So I always add this to the water on the run up to and during fireworks, which for my birds works brilliantly. Bring outdoor birds inside. This one's mainly for aviary birds. They'll no doubt have an indoor section where they roost at night or escape to from poor weather conditions and where they feel safe and secure. To avoid the risk of being frightened and attempting to escape which can cause stress and even serious injury, ensure they're kept inside this area whilst fireworks are being let off. It should already be insulated somewhat but you can try to insulate it some more by using a large cover or a quill over the exterior walls and roof and that'll go some way to muffle in the loud bangs. Cover anywhere that can let light in to reduce the flashes but remember to leave enough space so that the indoor area is well ventilated and able to let air in. Keep calm and communicate. Finches are in tune with human emotions, they can sense energy and once a relationship is established they can hear tonal changes and recognise facial expressions. So it's important to remain calm around your finches when they're in potentially stressful situations. As I enter my bird room I whistle in response to my finches alarm calls to let them know it's me. I talk to them regularly when I'm in there and over time they've learned that I don't pose a threat. Talk to yours in a calming tone when you're around them. To a degree, your voice is a source of relaxation to your finches, so communication can distract them from the noises of the fireworks outside. Choose an appropriate room. Moving your indoor finches round unnecessarily can cause avoidable stress, which defeats the object of this tip. But, if your finches are used to being moved, take them to a quiet and well-insulated room to help deaden the sounds of the fireworks from outside. Bathrooms are a great example, providing the air quality is clean and free of anything that you've been spraying. 
A quiet room might seem counterproductive, but finches are more vigilant during quiet times, and being vigilant means they're ready and expectant of threats, which in turn means that any sudden surprises won't come as much of a shock. Leave a light on too so that they're able to clearly see that there aren't any threats in their immediate vicinity. Close the curtains and blinds. You might already do this at night time anyway, and this is probably one of the more obvious ones, but closing the curtains and blinds will lessen the effect of light flashes from fireworks, and will also help to deaden the loud bangs. I have blackout blinds in my bird room which work great on keeping outside light from getting in, but if your curtains or blinds are a bit more flimsy, or you just want to go that little bit further, try adding an extra cover to make them more effective. Play some calming music. Now I don't know about you, but for me, the sounds of nature are extremely soothing and something that I'll often play to help me fall asleep. However, it's best to avoid using jungle compositions and nature sounds to soothe your finches or to help them relax. Unless you're a bird language expert, you're not going to know if there are alarm or distress calls mixed in with those otherwise relaxing pieces of music. Classical music and even white noise has been scientifically proven to calm many species of birds including finches. Some birds might even have a specific taste. I've trialled this extensively with mine and jazz seems to be their preference. The noise will also help to muffle the sounds of fireworks. I play jazz at a decent volume in my bird room and although it's often past the bedtime when it's still on because the fireworks are set off late into the night, I'd rather than miss a bit of quiet sleep time than be freaked out and scared by loud fireworks. It's a compromise that I'm willing to make. Whichever method you choose to try, the most important thing is that we should do all that we can to help protect our finches and other birds and to keep them as comfortable as possible during firework season. And remember, the methods that I've explained will work well for all captive birds, not just finches.